Hey everyone, today we are playing 3DS games finally on the Folium emulator from the App Store for the iPhone and iPad. So Folium is a very recently released emulator which now can run 3DS games. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you the full tutorial and how to get this particular emulator, how to load it on your phone, how to load up the keys.txt, how to load up ROMs and get 3DS games working as well as they can on iOS. So the first thing that we are going to do is to go to the App Store. So tap on the App Store icon and then we're going to do a search for Folium. So I'll leave a link in the description for the app here. But type in Folium, do a search. And then we're going to make a purchase of Folium. So Folium is $4.99 in the UK and the US as well. It's a paid application and any funds spent are going to be helping to support the developer of this particular front end. So I'm going to go ahead and make a purchase or download it if you've purchased it before. So once that's done, we're going to press the open button. And you'll see here there are two emulators which we can use. So I've done a tutorial on the Grape Nintendo DS emulator, which is the core within Folium. However, today what we're going to be doing is sorting out Citrus, which is a 3DS emulator obviously based on Citra. So the file that we need is called the AES underscore keys.txt file, which is an encryption file which you should be taking from your hacked or jailbroken 3DS or 2DS. And if you don't have this, then you need to source this either from your own device or somewhere on the internet. And we need specifically AES underscore keys.txt. I have an AES keys.txt file within my downloads folder. So what I want to do here is to go back into Folium. So what we're going to be doing is importing our AES underscore keys. And then we're going to press this line here, AES underscore keys.txt. And then we want to import this. So just tap on import. And then we're going to find our file by going into our downloads folder. And then within downloads, we're going to import the AES underscore keys. So now that the text file has been imported into Citrus, then this is ready to go ahead and import ROMs. So I can't actually show you where to download ROMs from. I'm not able to supply them. You should be taking them off your own genuine Nintendo 2DS or 3DS cartridges using a jailbroken Nintendo 3DS. But uh, anyway, once you have files ready transferred onto your phone, intuitively you want to press the plus button and then import ROMs. Firstly, if you have a .7z file, then you want to go ahead and extract this. I'll show you how to do this now. And also, it's not going to import from here correctly. So we need to go back into our Files app. Go to Files here, and then go ahead and open this. And then we have our file, which I've prepared here already. The game I'm testing out today is Monster Hunter. And uh, it's a .7z file, so what we want to do is to long tap on this, press rename, and then we want to extract this .7z by renaming everything past the dot a dot zip. And what this means is that if I use zip instead of .7z, then the uh, actual files app can actually extract this for us. So I can tap on this, and it's going to extract the file into a new folder here. That's a little handy tip on how to open up .7z files, which most ROMs are best compressed and distributed online using this file format. So just rename it to .zip and then it's going to start extracting. Just wait for that to finish here. And once that file is extracted, then you'll see it under this folder here. The one that we want here is a .3ds file. So we want to put this within the Folium app. So like I showed you before, Folium won't read even a unzipped .3ds file here. So what we want to do is to move it using the files app. So we have this extracted .3ds file here. We're going to long hold on this. So move. And then we're going to move it within the Folium app. So tap on Folium here. And then we want Citrus here. So tap on that. And then we want to go down into ROMs. Tap on that. And the folder is empty. So we're going to move the .3ds or .cia game. And it's gone from there now. If I go to on my iPhone and I navigate to Folium, Citrus, and then ROMs, and you'll see that the .3ds file is now ready to go. So we're going to go back into Folium. And we can see that if we refresh, you'll see that the game has now been added to our list of games. And this is a 3DS game, one of the harder ones to run on the system. So tapping on that now, we can now see that this is all loading up. So one of the things that you are going to find is that the performance is not going to be as good as you might expect because this emulator doesn't have access to JIT, which is a way of rendering games which Apple has restricted even for emulators. So 
you're gonna need quite a fast device. So this is an iPhone 15 Pro, basically you want an iPhone 14 or above to be able to run uh, emulation like this because this is basically running through software and it's not very optimized at the moment. So as you can see, 3DS games on the iPhone is a pretty big deal and it's great that we finally have this through Folium. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.